Hello and welcome to my first video in the new year. Today's video is a bit different because I thought that uh, I could do a little update on this coda. And so instead of the usual voiceover stuff, it's just, just me and my phone here. And I thought that, you know, we could just very quickly walk through everything and just get a quick update because I did a couple of things on with the car. Just very small minor things that weren't really, really worth making a separate video about. The weather today is very fitting for winter which is not that obvious in Poland, you know, we don't always get snow in winter. Uh, but yeah, today we do. You'll have to excuse all the noises that I make because uh, I'm properly equipped to fight the cold weather today since it's pretty damn cold today. Uh, yeah, so you know, a lot of stuff is just making noise, I guess. Especially December hasn't really been a kind month for the car, you know. <laughs> I guess it was like eventful, you could politely say because a lot of stuff uh, happened at once. On the exterior, nothing really has changed, but uh, in the beginning of December, my battery died. And I guess that was kind of, I, I, I like had it coming because it was weak for quite a while. And one morning it just died completely. So I had to replace it. And literally like after a day or two, my thermostat died. So I had to replace that as well. Then uh, a couple months back, I replaced the Volvo valve and some other small part on the engine. I've read somewhere that these parts apparently wear out fairly often and it's worth to replace them since they're very cheap. So I did that and what I read was right because these the parts that I uh, took out of the engine were pretty well worn, you could say. So, you know, it was a very cheap uh, fix and that should help for a while. But uh, while I was replacing the battery, I did something that I've been putting off for quite a while. And that is, let me open the engine bay real quick. Wait, I'm gonna need two hands for that. Right, so while I was replacing the battery, I finally bought this like battery cover that the car didn't have ever since I bought it. Also that's loose. Uh, it didn't have it and I never really, I, I always kept forgetting to buy it, but I finally did it and you know, it looks better of course. And so now I'm only missing the hood sound deadening or whatever it's called, you know, this like black mat that goes over here and reduces the noise and also keeps the engine warmer. It has been like, what, like a very few months since the last video about this code, so you know, some time has passed. And now that I think about it, yeah, uh, another thing I did was uh, the AC broke, so I had to replace the AC condenser. The previous one was like some cheap Chinese knockoff and it one day it just kind of exploded and lost all of the AC gas or whatever. Next thing is, uh, for quite a while, I didn't really have to top up the oil in the car. Ever since I did the oil change in the summer, it literally didn't burn any oil, so I don't know what happened, but that's that's good. So to quickly sum up, since the summer, the car uh, needed a new thermostat, a new battery, a new AC condenser, uh, and those two small parts in the engine. Not too bad, I guess. The headlights are, like always, in terrible shape. And actually, that reminds me... Uh, wait a second. During the video, the, the summer video, I talked about how... I replaced the xenon bulbs, hoping that it would eliminate the bluish tint on one of the headlights. And so I did that and that really didn't help at all. So I deduced that it probably is the fault, the fault lights probably and uh, the projector itself. I talked about it in the previous video. But ever since then, one day it just suddenly fixed itself and the headlight became white again. So like you can see that this headlight has this like whitish color to it and then the other one is the same i don't know why it just suddenly fixed itself for no reason really i don't know maybe like the bulb needed to adjust or something you know like maybe it just needed time i have no idea but also uh, on the topic of headlights i lost yet another headlight washer cover i think in total i've lost like five or six of them <laughs> which is just insane Actually, wait, there's a plane flying by. I lost one of them and then I replaced it, but I think it was like in early, um, in early November. One day I just went to a shopping mall and when I came back, someone stole my washer covers. Who even steals these these days? But yeah, someone did. I mean, they stole uh, this one and they tried to steal this one, but 
uh, after this one fell out a couple of times in the past I just glued it with like I think it was like windshield glue or something so it's literally impossible to take it off now and so they tried to take it off as well but they couldn't and they just gave up and well ever since I replaced this one I also glued it in place so hopefully they won't be able to steal them again next up is the sunroof which had a bit of a drainage problem in the summer if you remember it's been functioning fine ever since we did the whole repair <laughs> quote unquote repair uh yeah it's been fine it's not leaking but something kind of related to this has uh, broken since then the sunroof just kind of started opening on its own from time to time when driving and i read on the internet that uh, this is the fault of the um, sunroof switch itself it's it's like dirty on the inside or just old and oxidized or something that causes the sunroof to go up and down a temporary fix is to just uh, get like grab this knob and just twist it a couple of times and that kind of cleans the insides of, of that knob and uh, helps a bit but it comes back after like a couple of weeks and the permanent fix would be to replace the whole switch which I'll probably have to do then the new tail lights which are functioning just fine and I still think they look way better than the pre facelift ones I think I installed them correctly because they haven't been fogging up like not even once they're clear as day so I, I think I've installed them correctly oh yeah that reminds me uh actually the previous battery the one I replaced like a month ago was the original one like that battery lasted 15 years that's that's incredible <laughs> very impressive for a battery too last this long if you've been wondering what happened to the cl500 uh currently it's in winter sleep mode because you know it is winter and uh, that car is a summer only car so it'll have to wait until like march to april oh yeah why didn't i mention that before uh the skoda got a roof over its head and here it is i totally forgot about that uh so in the summer and basically uh, all the time before that you know we didn't have this like shed thingy here but I guess just like the whole sunroof leakage traumatized me enough that we decided to build this like shack for the car so you know it doesn't get as wet obviously it helps a lot compared like to the Corolla which is standing outside we're also planning on a shutter here probably a metal one we're doing that because most of the day the sun is shining from that way and in the summer this part gets really hot and so it would heat up the car a lot uh, having a shutter here should allow me to shut it down when it's sunny outside to give the car even more shade and just keep it cooler and then you know when you're not using it or like when winter comes you can put the shade up and have like a walkable space in here this video is definitely a bit more like a vlog compared to my other ones so let me know in the comments what do you think of this style of video do you prefer the voiceover stuff or do you like me just working with the camera and talking uh, more anyways let's hope that this new year will be even better than the last one and that it'll bring a lot of new adventures some of this code and some without it and just lots and lots of cool stuff thank you very much for watching and goodbye